Would you trade Jared Goff? If someone wants Jared Goff, you give him Jared Goff. <laughs> There's so many holes at so many levels on this defense, and we know we have to fill it up. How, what do you think we'll get for Jared Goff? A deal you can't refuse on the day of my daughter's <laughs> wedding. Come to me on the day of the my daughter's, daughter's wedding. wedding. Oh, no, Jared Goff. It's going so well. But it's like... It's, it's, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Detroit. This is this guy making the Detroit the Lions fans. <laughs> I know. All right. I mean, hey, <laughs> it's kidding. production. All right. Pumping up the production is this, this, this beat. But nonetheless, we know we're in purgatory. We, we need to fill this roster up. There's hey, so know. many holes. I mean, we had a discussion <laughs> yesterday and we we're like, you know, what position is like the biggest one for need? You're looking at that defense, despite injuries, even with everybody healthy, again, our best player. It's kind of, I mean, he's still good. I don't want to disrespect Tracy Walker. He's not a pro bowler or all pro by any means. Maybe he can be if he stayed healthy in this AG defense. We haven't got to see it yet with a complete team around him. But nonetheless, there's so many holes at so many levels on this defense, and we know we have to fill it up. Pause again. Why not get some extra draft hey, capital? yo! I actually you know, had this scenario in the offseason. Would you trade Jared Goff? Mm. Knowing that he's, he's right now... Maybe a hot commodity being looked at as such because he's killing it this season. Number one offense, uh, top three offense now after that shutout. We're going to talk about that. Nonetheless, so leading a lot of passing categories. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's having a hell of a season. Not to mention this is the second time he's had a hell of a season at the helm, at the quarterback position. There's teams that just feel like they're just a quarterback away. Would you trade Jared Goff to fill this roster? How, what do you think we'll get for Jared Goff? Do you think he really is a hot commodity? Because you got to remember, just two years ago, they had to give up a first-round draft pick yeah. to ship him, to get Jared, Jared Goff's contract off the books. Yeah. They'd add, throw in an extra first-round draft pick. So I'm glad you asked that because it's a Thank little you. bit of a different scenario in this situation. We would be paying Jared Goff's $40 million worth of dead cap this year. Whew. But we're already paying Jared Goff's Forty million dollars this year, regardless. If you know, and, and this this goes beyond Dan Campbell. If Dan Campbell or not, we need to get some guys on this roster. If you trust in Brad Holmes, like you say you do, if, and some of you guys love Jared Goff as much as you do, if you think he's out cold, like you say you do, then we should be able to get Brad Holmes some pieces to work with in terms of draft capital, and maybe even just some guys. I mean, we were talking about Derek Brown, you know, yesterday. I mean, mm -hmm. I was. That's the name that caught my attention. Oh, mm -hmm. Brian Burns on that list too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're paying that forty mil either way. And you know, you know, your team. You have to build it up. Yes. We're missing. We talked. We had the discussion last week. How many of these guys make a roster, let alone start? It's tough. It's a short list. It's a short list. If I've seen it, it you know, I see it in the Woodward Sports chat. People are saying, if someone wants Jared Goff, you give them Jared Goff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost saying I'm there. You know, I, I like what I've seen out of him this year. I do think he is helping this offense. He is doing the things he needs to do. But we have, again, gone forward multiple times saying that he is not the guy. He is not the long-term yeah. answer. He is not the, the franchise guy that you want there at the helm. So you can't hold on to him for dear life. If somebody comes into you, and offers you, you know, a deal you can't refuse on the day of my daughter's <laughs> you wedding. Come to me on the day of my, my daughter's, daughter's wedding. wedding. And you are you for a favor? <laughs> no, uh, it, <laughs> if someone offers me a package, pause, that I like, <laughs> pause, I would make the deal. I would. If, if someone came up to me and said, here, take this, take these two picks, take this pick and this player, take this and that, yeah, I, I'd probably do it, honestly. If they're if they're saying, what? But what, what are you thinking? Second round pick, third round pick, first, first. Do you think we'll I'm get a first, first for Jared Goff? I mean, you're, I mean, let's be real. We're, we're this e like this eager to give him away, and you think somebody's going to give you a first for him? So he, like I said, as much as we bash him and, and speak to him, uh, I was down on him. I should say, part of that for me is the fact that we are paying him so much damn money. He is taking up so much damn salary cap. That's part of the reason why we got that extra draft pick is this is not a good contract to take on. They're getting him one on a discounted deal. He's still a capable guy if you surround him enough with enough pieces. I mean, we, we, he played in the Super Bowl, literally. Yeah. You, you got him on that discount. Barely. Yeah, three points. <laughs> same guy got shut out by that same defense. Nonetheless, 
yeah, you're, you're getting a guy who's at least capable of getting you there. You get him then on that discount too. I mean, historically in the NFL, we all we all know the numbers. It's the quarterbacks on team friendly deals that go to the Super Bowl. Say you got a team like, I mean, maybe the Colts. I'm not saying this for sure, like this year, but I mean the Colts, even Tampa Bay, like Matt Ryan, Tom Brady, are both guys that may walk away from the game. They may very well like walk away from the game. Then you you you, you put all your eggs in one basket. I'm not gonna put the Raiders in that conversation, but teams in that scenario. I feel like Tom Brady got divorced, so now he's just in it for life. Yeah, it's true. He's going to play like five more years. He like the Gordie Howe of NFL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm 47, but I can still throw a spiral, Sonny. It's crazy with Tom Brady, though, because like last year, was he not number one in like yards? And he was. Still top he should have been MVP last year. He should have been MVP last yeah. year. I was, And I'm not a Tom Brady guy, but what the hell? Like, that mm-hmm. was wild to me. But no, man. I'm just, I would do it. I would, too. I, I mean, I... I'm not just going to give him away, like, hey, I'll give you a fifth-round pick for it. You know, I'm not going to do anything like that. But if someone comes up to me with a second and a player or a first, if they, if I hear first-round pick, I'm like, yep, yeah, sign it up. Sorry, you're going to Cleveland. You know, <laughs> Have a good time. It's, I, I feel bad saying this because he is performing. He is doing what he's asked to do. But you're right. There are so many gaping holes in that defense that you need to fill them. You need to get talent in there and getting that contract off the books while acquiring more capital or players in return, that could be a win-win for the Lions. Because then you have the freedom to go out and sign a Quan Alexander, sign a Darren Payne, sign a Jesse Bates the third in free agency this year. Mm-hmm. And those guys, those those are good guys. Those are those are Pro Bowl guys. Those are guys that, that are up and coming. Yeah. Those are guys that are hungry. And that can change this defense. That can be start. That would be starters on every team in the NFL. So I'm not mad about it. I'm not. I'm not freaking out. Like it's like, oh no, Jared Goff. He's playing so well. But it's like, it's. It, it, I mean, come on. <laughs> we got Nate Sudfield. You know? hey, the stock is up yeah, right now. Stock the is, stock is up the right stock now. Is up. We, it was hella down last year. Like, you're not getting much out of him last year. This year, and I'm not saying after this New England game, he has to come back, have a good game against Dallas, which is another good defense. But Very good defense. Have him have, you know, get a couple of string, a couple more good games, get a couple of first rounders. I mean, we, we speak about the Jets and the Giants and how you know, both Rob Salah and Brian Dabo have brought like a, a better record this year versus Dan Campbell. And then our argument for like the pro Lions guys or Dan Campbell guys is that, like, look at the rosters. They're working a lot better things. If Let's get Dan Campbell something to work with. If Jared Goff ends up resulting in a totality of three first round picks. Oh, no. The, no, I'm saying because yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we got two already. Because we got one for Stafford oh, and one for taking Goff. That's a dub. If, if we can get another one for shipping off Goff, he should have a statue built in Detroit. <laughs> like, <laughs> we should throw it in the rafters. Like, put it up there with Barry and Calvin. Because it's. If you, you already got two by. Bringing him in and, and putting him to the bosom. And if you can get another one for shipping him out of town, that would be huge. Stop it. Get, some, get help. some help. Oh, snap, JB. Are you not down? No, no, I'm down. I'm just he, he saying like what Spencer's uh, oh, trying oh. to trade and get a first for Jared Goff. That is not going to happen. Never going to happen. Like, the best we're getting is two player or maybe a third and two players like that that's the worst that that's the best case scenario you're getting for golf i'll right tell now. you if it's two if it's two and a defensive starter sign me up matt ryan was traded for a third round pick yeah one of the veteran qbs made a move baker mayfield was traded for a sixth round pick yeah but oh, that might be more golf material than yeah i mean he's probably somewhere I mean, between there honestly he's, between, he's, between he's, yeah he's, yeah and, he's like I was just gonna say something real disrespectful. <laughs> so I'm gonna pause. There. No, say you've gone there. You've called them a cuck. Yeah, that's true. That was that was the old cyber <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, was the old. Going too far. You just gotta say it now. Yeah, he's like a dumb Matt Ryan and like a sober Baker Mayfield. Like he's, <laughs> he's like right in the middle there. Like he's he's right in the middle there. So fourth round. Fourth round is probably what oh, you'd be man. looking for. Yeah, first round pick would be. They'd be asking a lot. I don't think any team in the NFL would be like, oh, Jared Goff? That's worth a a blue chip stock in next year's draft. That's worth somebody. Yeah. No, there's nobody that's like that 
there's nobody that is a Jared Goff away from the Super Bowl. I'll, I'll say that. There's nobody that's like, you know that what? That is fair. They're sitting in the war room. They're like, if we had Jared Goff right now, we'd probably be first in the division. So Yeah, that's true. I guess I didn't do that part of the homework. It's like looking what teams would actually be like in the market. Yeah. Bah. 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 <laughs> Ugh. I say we trade him to Dallas for Cooper Rush straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Like Cooper Rush turn our franchise around. Ah, man, the new I just, red rifle. I just wish he had a, a touchdown against the uh, Patriots. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like keep the stock up a little bit. There's, okay. if, 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 if he's top five and like, you know, statistically as a quarterback, like, it's got to be worth more than his a His stock no? is plateaued. People know what Jared Goff is. Yeah. The league knows what Jared Goff is. The league saw how you can, you know, get rid of Jared Goff from the equation like the Patriots did. So, again, like I said, there's no team that is a Jared Goff away from a Super Bowl. I don't even think that's possible. Help me out here. All right. <laughs> I'm excluding the Raiders. I got Derek Carr. Yes. If Tom Brady retires, I'd maybe put Tampa in there. But they're kind of like shutting off some pieces anyway. If Tom Brady retires, they probably just fire sale. They already got their Super Bowl. Um, Colts. I mean, this would be a next year thing for them. Colts. Because they I wouldn't be with. surprised. Honestly, the Colts love doing that. Yeah. Hey, let's bring in Phil Rivers. Now let's bring in Matt Ryan. Hey, we'll trade for Jared Goff. And Jim Mercer is just wheeling and dealing. Give me every old quarterback in the history of the league. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the homework during the break, man. I'm going to do the homework during the break. <laughs> do the homework. Get something I can wrap my mind around because... A first round pick for Jared Goff has me a little too wired. 